Hey, what's up guys? How are you all doing tonight? Welcome back to another episode of the Weekend Recap. After last week's hiatus, we are back tonight and have a good bit of stuff to go over. A bunch of packs to rip too, which I'm pretty excited about. A couple of nice trips over the weekend to some flea markets and the final trip to the local honey hole. So it's kind of sad to say goodbye to that place, but uh, I met him down there yesterday when he was cleaning up the shop and picked up a few more things. And pretty excited because this is one of them right here. 93 Bowman Jumbo Box, which will be part of a future break at some point here soon. Love that set. Chasing after the Jeter. I, bro I broke a box of that probably about, I don't know, six months ago when I first started the channel looking for the Jeter for myself and did not find it. Came up short. So hopefully we can find one in there. 20 Jumbo Packs there. So, uh, so we got a pretty good chance. Of finding him hopefully at least so we'll do that in a few weeks here but i was pretty excited about that so keep an eye out for that um it's coming up here in the future but today i went out to altoona to the outdoor flea market i always have good luck there and today usually i find toys and stuff like that whenever i go out there but uh didn't find a whole lot of that i found more so baseball cards which is pretty awesome but a bunch of packs i used to like always ripping packs on weekend recap and i found some more some 89 bowman these were a buck a piece, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Basically, get three packs of Bowman for a dollar. So not bad. Picked up five packs of those. The guy was selling, he had a ton of packs. He probably had like, I don't know, 150 to 200 packs overall total. And I was pretty excited because I found a fat pack of 95 Bowman in the mix in there. So 14 cards. These are considered jumbo packs. 95 Bowman is an awesome set. I love it. We ripped like half a box of those a few months back. Looking for the uh, Vladdy Guerrero and did not find it. We also did a, uh, well, actually, we did, did a break on that. Found the Andrew Jones, Bartolo Colon, a bunch of rookies, but did not find the Vladdy. I do have a fresh box of those at Seal. We'll see at uh, some point here. So thank you guys again for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. I know Eric's live tonight, so I figured there wouldn't be too many people here, but uh, we're still going to have a good time, anyways. And also in the dollar box, pretty sick. 93 top, Series 1. So I had to get those. Couldn't pass on them a buck a piece for a chance at finding the Jeter or Jeter Gold even. There's one gold card per pack. So usually a box of these nowadays is about 90 bucks. So for 36 packs, a dollar a piece is a good deal. And then also these other ones that I've never seen before. These are like grocery store packs. Maybe you guys have seen these. Very, uh, very weird to me. But super value packs. Department of Walmart, 50 cents back in 93. There's a pack of 93 Topps football. And top series one baseball in there. So I picked up five of these packs, which is pretty sweet. So we've got seven packs, 93 tops to rip open here. And five rack packs, 89 Bowman, a 95 Bowman. So that's a pretty good haul for today. I was pretty stoked about that. I picked up some singles. Um, also a sweet Mo2 book here. I have the power on the front. Uh, from some cool dudes that are always set up there and always selling 80s pop culture stuff. Um, I always have awesome stuff, but they had this book for two bucks. Couldn't pass on it. Made by Golden. Golden made a lot of different uh, adaptations from cartoons and the books in the 80s and 90s. Real Ghostbusters, all the cartoons we love for the most part end up being Golden books at some point or another. But couldn't pass on that. Pretty sweet. Was a big Motu fan back in my early days. I, I have a good bit of the toys. I haven't started buying back on the card yet, but maybe someday soon. They are pretty pricey. And also, as you see behind the book that was concealing this, a random box just full of cards. This was 20 bucks, and um, I was sifting through the top of it at first. I didn't, I didn't go through really any of this, but uh, just going through the top, I saw some cards from the 70s. I saw a 79 Johnny Bench. I saw a McGuire 87 Don Ross rookie card on top. Here's the bench right here. So I saw a lot of Junk Wax rookie cards, Raphael Palmeira rookie cards, Sammy Sosa, stuff like that, a Johnny Bench, and like a Eddie Topps, Mike Schmidt. So I was like, this is pretty good for 20 bucks. That's going to be pretty fun to go through. There's a lot of cards and top loaders in there, so not just all just thrown around with ding corners. I mean, there's some cards that aren't uh, protected, but I've seen some 85 uh, USA cards too, so maybe we'll find McGuire in there. I'm not going to go through that tonight. I'm going to save that for tomorrow night. I'm going to make a video going through that whole box, but I thought 20 bucks is a pretty good deal, so we'll check that out another time. But tonight, we're going to rip some packs. We're going to do some live auctions. Um, and also, 
got some cards. So what? Yesterday at the Honey Hole, I was BSing with the guy there, and he's like, he uh, tossed this to me for free, which is pretty awesome. Darren Fletcher, ninety-one tops Desert Shield, which is one I did not have, and this is in print, pristine condition. So he just threw that in for free, just because he's an awesome guy. So add that to the rest of the Desert Shield I'm trying to collect. Paul L says, is that authentic or no? I haven't black lit tested it yet, but uh, I'm sure it is coming from him. Every single uh, other one that I got from him was all, they were all legit. And then another pickup here, another rookie card I didn't have. I primarily only collect rookie cards these days as far as baseball cards go. Um, Pre-2000, and this is one I did not have. It's uh, 73 tops. It's White Evans. I don't remember ever even seeing this card. So not like a huge value card or anything, but definitely one I want to have in the PC. And not in too bad a shape. So for 5 bucks, I wanted to add that to my PC. The Honey Hole did close up. Um, Vesture. But he let me come down yesterday as he was closing stuff up and packing things up and whatnot and uh, pick some stuff out. So that's when I picked up the, the 93 Bowman. I thought that would be a really fun break to do that. And try to find that Jeter game. Maybe we'll find two. I think there's 30 cards per pack. Two full cards per pack and 20 packs. So, what is that? I mean, it's like 600 cards. So, uh, decent chance to maybe find the Jeter, hopefully. And then this was a bunch of these. We found some 10 cent bins and whatnot. Most of these were between 10 cents and 50 cents. But uh, Kevin Euclid's rookie card didn't have that one. So, needed it for the PC. I think that was a dime which was a pretty good deal. We found that yesterday. Eric went. Eric and I went to uh, Saxton, PA, which is kind of like in the middle of nowhere. It was like an hour and a half away. To like a very small antique mall there where uh, the one guy that sets up a ladies flea market, or ladies, however you pronounce that, in Altoona, he has a stand there. So the Kevin Euclid's rookie was $0.10, cents, which is a really good deal. Johnny Cueto, 0-9 per deck for, I think that was a dime too. Hey, Joe Mansman. And some Jay Bruce rookie cards I did not have. I normally don't buy newer uh, cards to begin with. If they're, like, kind of close to the beginning of the uh, millennium, I'll buy them. Some aren't too bad. Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce uh, tops rookie card there. And also his upper deck. I think these were, like, a quarter of 50 cents a piece. Ryan Braun. I think I had one or two of his rookies before, but didn't have this one. Also his Lucky 13 Ultra rookie card as well. And a Bowman. So I had to get those, and also Jose Fernandez. This is two sixty four, two ninety nine. I think this was a quarter. I had to pick that up. Rest in peace, to Jose Fernandez. And I was pretty stoked about this one, Clayton Kershaw. I think I might have one of his rookie cards, but uh, definitely didn't have this one. This was fifty cents, and one I've never seen before for being a junk wax guy like I am. Never seen this uh, Kenny Lofton. This is nineteen ninety one upper deck final edition. Um. Pretty sweet. Never seen it. Never owned it. Nothing. Didn't even know it existed. I mean, I knew it existed, but I've never come across it, like I said. So uh, not a whole lot of value to it. I think it, like book value is like a dollar or a dollar fifty, but this was uh, ten cents. So I was pretty excited about that. Vesher says I have that Lofton, but yeah, I like that card. I was always a big Kenny Lofton fan in my younger years. So definitely one I wanted to add to the PC. And a two dollar super chat from our buddy Autistic Family Collectibles says Ryan Braun, did you go dumpster diving? Oh hi. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, Jonathan Age. I appreciate that. You have a bunch of Ryan Bronze. And then uh, Jose Fernandez, Bone Platinum. Again, uh, I think this was a quarter. Like I said, these are all between $0.10 cents and $0.50. Cents. Dallas Keuchel rookie card, and one I didn't have. That was $0.50 cents at uh, Hokey G's, I want to say. I was out there a few days ago. And then also, since I'm a big rookie card collector, I want to get this Ron Fairley. Uh, 1960 tops. Big crease in the middle of it, but uh, still a uh, kind of a random rookie card to have. So had to get that. I think it was a quarter as well. And Joe Yankee says, trying to watch both Jabs Family and Passes Alive live stream at the same time is giving me a headache, but trying to be loyal both. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Joe Yankee. I appreciate that. I didn't even know Eric was going live tonight. And then I uh, I saw a little bit ago he was live, and I was like, oh, there goes uh, all the traffic into uh, from my stream. Adam Wainwright, early 2000 uh, top rookie card. Didn't have that one. And also for Jonathan H., again, Ryan Braun, 2007 top rookie card. So that is what I picked up for the PC over the last few days. So some nice rookies to add to my uh, stash. Continue to grow that. And eventually I'll do another video on that on the update. Um, sometime soon. 
Well, thank you very much, Greg H. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys all for being here. You guys are awesome. So that's pretty much it. No toys again this weekend. I've been having a slump. I mean, I've been buying a lot of stuff online, so um, nothing at flea markets. Everyone's buying that stuff up, I guess. But we're up some packs, and we will do a $1 one-minute auction at the end. So I guess we will start out with a 9 Bowman, see if we can find a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. And Tina Martinez, John Smoltz are in here. Like I said, basically three packs for a buck and the original tags on them, Thrift Drug, $1.50. Paul L., I know I still have not done the G.I. Joe video. I should be ashamed of myself for that. I, <laughs> I want to do it. It's not that I don't want to do it. I just have not done it yet, but uh, it's coming soon. It really is. I know I've said that like for the last two months, maybe even longer than that, three months. But I figured rip a few of these, see what we can find. See if we can find the Griffey. We did a, I think we did a break of these not too long ago and uh, found them. Dave Winfield, Ozzie Guillen, Fernando Valenzuela might see his rookie card come up very soon. We are breaking 81 Fleer this Tuesday. A box of that we're ripping into. We're stick with the 81 since we had such good luck with the Don Russ break last week and found six Tim Raines rookie cards. We'll try to keep our uh, luck going with 81 Fleer. So a lot of mostly commons for the most part. And there is no escape. <laughs> you just cannot get away from this guy. Eric Z says, John, you and your brother need to do videos of your homes with your stuff. You with your toys and Eric with his garage cards. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. If I showed you my home, uh, like right now, you'd be like, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Pull it together. So there's just crap everywhere. Organize your stuff. I just uh, keep going out and buying more and then not organizing what I already have. Eventually, I will get to it, but uh, I don't know when that's going to be. But I definitely plan on it some, at some point. Earl Hershiser, Will Clark in there. Ozzie Smith is a good one. And there's Chad Hopkins with a $2 Super Chat. says, hey, John, new video up, searching for Buck Plate Card. Thank you so much, Chad Hopkins. Thank you for being here. And please check out Chad Hopkins' channel. Give him a sub. He's a great guy, close friend of the channel, and that's like his second video. So please go show him some love. Give him a sub. Give him a like. Chad is a big Buck Showwater fan, so if you have anything you want to get rid of even, please send it his way. Get in touch with him. He'll be more than happy to share his address with you. I'll definitely check that video out later uh, tonight there, Chad. Let me plug my phone in here. I'm trying to do two things at once. But, yeah, we're up some packs, and we'll auction some stuff off. And Walt Weiss looking creepy. Who is this? Storm Davis. I feel like that's like the third one we've seen in the second pack already. There's a Brett. Charles Nagy. It's actually his rookie card. Eddie Murray. Royce Clayton looking really pissed. Mike Harkey looks like he's a unibrow. Benito Santiago. Bobby Bo and Barry Larkin. So nothing really that great so far. But like I said, these are a buck a piece, so it's not like I spent a fortune on these. A lot of people don't like 89 Bowman. I'm not a huge fan, but uh, I feel like these are some of the first cards that I ever bought when I was younger. And speaking of that, Eric Z says, I just never liked 89 Bowman. Never liked the size. I never did either because how they would stick out of top loaders and penny sleeves. Top loaders that go to the very top. But um, I think I hate them because I had, uh, I had a baseball card carrying case that I put these in. And literally you'd put them in there and then you'd close it and like a good portion would be bent completely. So, and there's a two dollar super chat from Michael Paget, base and baseball or our ball cards. It says two dollars for the Sabo John. Thank you so much, Michael Paget. I really appreciate that, man. Please go and check out his channel. I know I'm subbed to you, but uh, please give him a sub and show him some love if you would. Only takes a second. Really appreciate that. There is Gian and Dave Winfield again, seeing a repeat pattern there from the very first pack. There's John Smoltery card. Nice. So there's a. Uh, 
uh, not really cut very well. Smoltz rookie card there. Looking very, very happy, but still Hall of Famer Smoltz. And still a nice card to have if you collect rookies or even Hall of Famers in general. So we did find one rookie so far. Mike5481 says Smoltz before the facial hair. There's a Fisk. And a Steve Finley rookie card. One's not too bad. Steve Finley's on the Hall of Fame, but he still had a great career overall. Ron Gant and Uribe. Wonder if Jose Uribe knew or had any kind of hunch that 25 years in the future, 30 years in the future, <laughs> he would be a part of one of the most crazy, uh, I don't know if you want to call it scam in baseball card collecting, the 90 Fleer card. That somebody listed for almost eight hundred thousand dollars. Maybe it's sold for that. I can't remember. There's Jim Abbott rookie card. Another nice one. Always liked Abbott, Tim Raines, and Paul Molitor. Tom Hankey looking super dorky like he always did in every single one of his cards. And Dale Trent says, "Hey John, I'll take that Smoltz for a fair price if you're interested in selling." Yeah, maybe I'll just. Um, Maybe what I'll do is, I have the Smoltz already. I, I wanted to find the Griffey, but uh, there's Tony Gwynn and Conseco. What I, maybe what I'll do is we'll throw all these rookies that we pull out of here up in an auction. The Smoltz, Abbott, Steve Finley for a buck. Anyone wants them. I know Dale said he wants the Smoltz. I'm not sure if you want the Abbott too. But I'm going to do that tonight too, the auctions. I have a bunch of cards to uh, liquidate. So I need to make room. I have so much stuff now. Um, but throw in some stuff here and there. Rack packs are being very resistant. So our last chance at finding a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. And if we don't find it, we'll go on to 93 tops after this. Paul O'Neill. Darnell Coles, why couldn't you be Ken Griffey Jr.? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. <laughs> Save on the first pack and then <laughs> Eric Plunk. Yeah, we camp short, did not find the Griffey. Oh, well. Still fun anyways. Um, Mike, it is the series with the Jeter. That's why I bought these. I, I, like I said, for a buck a piece. Um, like I said, boxes of those go for like 90 bucks now. So a dollar a piece. It's a pretty good deal overall. Let's check out and see if we can find Derek Jeter. Or even Derek Jeter gold card. That'd be sick. There was a lot of crap in the, as far as... I wanted to buy all the packs, but uh, there was a lot of junky ones in there I didn't want. Some uh, oddball ones, too. There's a Sandberg card there. The gold card. And Jeff Bagwell. Third-year card, Harold Baines. Dave M says, Did Topps Big come out the same year as Bowman? Topps trying to corner the market on two big cards... Toff's Big actually came out in 88. Um, they were definitely prevalent in 89 as well. Remember the Robin Ventura USA Toff's Big card. Had a big craze behind it. John Smoltz actually has a rookie card in Toff's Big as well in uh, 89. I'm going to say I picked it up not too long ago. Hard R Cards is in here. What's up, man? Says I really like the 93 design. Yeah, they definitely are getting expensive, and it's only going to get worse. There's a nice Frank Thomas. Always like that card. And these cards are pretty crisp, too, as well as for being in a uh, random box. Bounced around for who knows how long. And these weird repacks that I've never seen before with 93 Tops football. I don't know if there's any good players in uh, in that set or not as far as these go. But like grocery store packs. But I figure for a buck, I definitely remember these. Drew Bledsoe, Jerome Bettis, he is in this set, huh, his rookie card. I think I used to have that one a long time ago. 
If you guys want to see me open them, I'll rip them open too. Maybe we can find the Bettis. I think I saw uh, Honey Hole was selling a PSA 10 Bettis 93 tops for I think 50 or 60 bucks recently. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Greg Maddox is in here though. Uh, yeah, if you guys want me to rip them, I will definitely do so. Tom Goodwin is the tops gold. Maddox in the Cubbies uniform there. And Pocket with a big bat card. I used to always like that one too. Jay Bell was a big fan of his back in uh, his heyday for the Pirates. We did uh, the last big uh, mixer break I did. We did do a box of these and found the Jeter was pretty sick. Edgar Martinez, move on. Barry Larkin, decent pack. Dennis Cook is another guy that I'm not too fond of. <laughs> His, his 93 upper deck is just so ridiculous. It haunts me. Barry Bonds is a nice one. Spanky LaValle. You know, Jay Bell and a Bane. So some repeats. It's a nice Bonds, though. I like that card. Ninety three tops definitely... Uh, I always liked it too. Eric was a huge fan of it. Definitely a set that I tried to put together from scratch and came up short by like, I don't know, 20 or so cards. Never actually finished it. But we definitely used to buy a lot of these. Lot of, bought, we bought a lot of 93 Upper Deck Series 1, 2. Searching for David Need and Nigel Wilson when that craze was going on. I definitely was a part of that. I was a huge Nigel Wilson fan. Chuck Carr and all those other guys that never panned out and were super hyped up. Three more packs of 93 Tops baseball. We'll rip the football and then uh, auction some, some stuff. Maybe we'll even look in, look in that box again. Austin Farmer says, anyone Eric Plunk cards I have courtesy of John? LOL, just kidding. So we haven't even seen any prospect cards. Yeah, hey, birthday hype. Didn't even see you pop in here. Scott Ruskin, Ozzy Smith, John Jaha. Some hype to him when he first came up in 92. I haven't even seen a prospect card yet. What gives? There's a Griffey Jr. I always like this card, too. Very nice uh, shot there, him. A nice card. Center nice. I'll have to look at that. Nothing good as far as Topps Gold cards go. we got the shaft on these packs. Robin, yeah, but we got a lot of stars. We definitely did. And I, I spoke too soon, I guess. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, Tops Gold. I know value his cards, though, but I was definitely... Ah, uh, Chad McConnell. I think he screwed us again. I'm pretty sure he screwed us in the last uh, packs I was ripping of these. Camp short because of Chad McConnell. I hate that. But we got five packs of 93 Tops football. Maybe we'll pull a Bettis, the hometown hero, Jerome Bettis. And then I'm saving this for last because I love 95 Bowman. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Hopefully I got some good luck tonight and we find a Vladdy or even Andrew Jones or Bartolo Colon. All right. This is going to be mostly all foreign to me, I'm sure. I mean, I've heard of a lot of these guys, but there's a Jim Montana in the first pack. It's not too bad. Andre Reed is a gold card. Thought that was the Bettis for a second there. Greg H says Reed in the Hall of Fame, I think. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I know the name sounds familiar. I'll go through these kind of slower with you so I don't skip over anybody. You guys can see him. Chris Burkett. I don't remember him. Brian Cox. It's a bunch of Rams, but no Bettis. Yet, I should say. I was definitely kind of collecting football in the mid-90s, back when, like, the John Carter craze and stuff like that was going on. Curtis Conway, definitely another name I recognize. James, Loft James Lofton's in the hall, isn't he? 
Curtis Conley rookie card, the big ding corner. I don't think that's worth anything these days, though. Maybe when it came out, it was. I think I remember some uh, hype. And there it is. There's the best rookie card. Sweet. The only problem it sucks is that the uh, one quarter is dinged on it. It's pretty lame. But uh, I don't know. It's not too bad. Pretty sick, though. Five packs and find the Bettis. Maybe I'll start collecting football cards now. Because <laughs> I found that. Pretty excited. Nothing better than uh, ripping packs and looking for one card and finding it. Especially when you only have a few packs. Vinny Testavardi is a name I know as well. Drew Hill. Uh, Arthur Marshall. Browning Nagel. Randall Hill. And Neil Anderson. Uh, I think that's that's okay, Dave. I don't know if I would actually collect football or not. I just, I don't know. I appreciate the offer, though. Somebody else might be interested. <laughs> Mike says, somehow Plunk will show up in one of those packs with your luck. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, Anthony Carter. I don't know, these packs are pretty good. Eric Williams... Hype says, I love football more than baseball, but can't make myself collect the cards oddly. Yeah, I just never really followed football. I just know things about it from, like, I don't know, hearsay, I guess. But I don't know anything about it now at all. Literally nothing. Just never really got into it. I always like the stuff that I actually would, was a part of. Like, so baseball, I played baseball from the time I was six until the time I was 14. So I played for eight years. I like to follow things that I, that I can be a part of and actually play. I mean, we played football, like, I don't know, flag football and stuff like that when I was younger, but it was never, I don't know, never that serious about it. We were, we played, like, baseball religiously. That's all we do is play with ball and baseball. So, Randall Cunningham is another name I know, and Steve Christie. So, not too bad. Bettis, rookie card. And I think it is Drew Bledsoe's rookie year, but we didn't find him. Kind of like want to buy more. 93 top football packs now. <laughs> and save the best for last, or hopefully the best for last, this 93 Bowman, or 95 Bowman fat pack. By fat pack, I mean 14 cards. Hopefully these aren't banged up. But I love this set. I love 90s Bowman sets. I don't think there's any that I, that I don't like, honestly. Even 1990 Bowman, I still like it. A lot of people hate it, but... Some decent rookie cards in there. And there's Dennis Eckersley. Uh, Roger Clemens. We are off to a good start here. Randy Johnson. So off to a real good start. Mike says, when are you breaking that bone in the background? I'm not sure yet. This Tuesday, we're breaking 81 Fleer to stay with the uh, good vibes we got from 81 Don Ross and finding six Tim Rains rookie cards. So that'll be in sometime in the future. But this Tuesday, 81 Fleer. And then uh, I have a bunch of boxes uh, stored up to go through. Joseph C. says, do you collect basketball, John? I got a few boxes of 86 Fleer collecting dust here. She saw somebody that was, I think it was OfferUp on the app OfferUp, if you guys use that. There's some dude on there. I mean, it must have been a scam or something like that. There's some dude in Ohio that was, he was posting a bunch of boxes of 86, what is it, 86, 87 Fleer, that the Jordan's in. Um, he had like, I don't know, a ton of boxes on there he was trying to get rid of. And he didn't have a price. I did message him, was like, how much do you want for one of those? Thinking maybe he'd be like, well, I don't know, I want drug money and give me a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, man, I'll buy them just because I know how much, I know how valuable they are. But uh, he never got back to me. Clemens, Eric Karras, uh, Randy Johnson, Billy Ashley, it's a big home run hitter when he first came on the scene, and kind of fizzled out there. Jeff Abbott, Paul O'Neill, decent pack though, some stars and Hall of Famers. Jason Bure. Steve Trashel and Jose Rijo and Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Hype is here. That's funny. So not a bad pack, though, for 95 Bowman. Some Hall of Famers and some stars. Really nothing uh, too crazy. And there are no rookies like I wanted. I was hoping for, like, gold card. Paul Ellis says, maybe we'll find Dan Quisenberry and 81 Fleer. I would not doubt it, the luck that we have. And Mike says, people just overprice junk wax on a Facebook marketplace. They really do, man. Like, it's... It's pretty bad. People are listening like 89 Don Russ for like $40 a box. Like, get out of here. And then, then they're, they're like the shipping is like 20 bucks too on top of that. That's why uh, Eric and I are pretty lucky to find all the wax boxes that we do and not to pay 
15 bucks for shipping every single time. <laughs> 86 Fleur Box will give you Pablo Escobar drug money. The big box, uh, this was, I picked this up today. This is a random fun box here. Like I said before, this was the dude I bought all the packs off of. He had this in his trunk. He had a bunch of stuff in his trunk. A lot of it was in binders, but uh, he's like, yeah, 20 bucks for everything in there. And I went through it. I was like, whoa, McGuire, 87 Don Russ, rookie card. It's pretty sweet. And then I was like, wow, Johnny Bench, 79 tops in decent shape in a top loader. Then I saw like a Sosa rookie card in here. Like here's a franchise Donnie Baseball caked in dust. Uh, Manny Ramirez, 93 per deck prospect card. So like it's not just a bunch of commons. Like there's a Corey Snyder rookie card, but 86 Don Ross, maybe there's a Conseco in there. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to save this for a different video because I haven't even gone through it yet. I think that'd be pretty cool. And Randy Myers, like, yeah, there's, there's, there's definitely some junk in here, but there's also like some decent insert cards and there I, I saw i think two or three 70s cards and one of them was johnny bench so i was like wow this could be pretty good so it's like 20 bucks it'll be fun to go through all those there's a Raphael palmira rookie card seven tops and a massively oversized penny sleeve there <laughs> i used to hate when card shops like had cards in these like what's the point is there two of them in here oh sweet that's pretty cool Double Palmero fun there. Didn't know that or didn't, didn't notice that earlier. But uh, now my hands are caked in dust and filth. But uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to, to check that out. I'm not going to do it tonight. But uh, tomorrow night, I don't know if I'll do a live stream or just a standard video. What do you guys think? Would you rather watch me do it live with you or do a standard video? I think it's more fun to do it live just because you guys can share my excitement and screaming like a little girl whenever I like find a good rookie card in there. <laughs> like I usually do. But this is nice too. A big fat Kevin McReynolds sign. You guys might remember these. Looking really pissed. Austin Farmers' Billy Ripken F face card in there. I hope. Yeah, I, I hope so too. Like there's some random weird stuff in here. Ken Singleton. So a bunch of these bigger early Don Russ cards. I said, I haven't even gone through this yet. I don't even know what these are. I haven't, I've never seen these before at all. Baseball foldouts from 83. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Joseph sees it. I'll trade my mint USS flag for that box of cards. Let's make a deal. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. I like kind of want to look through this box now. You guys are tempting me. Manny Ramirez. Second year is a Griffey caked in dust. If you can see him. So there's like hockey in here too. Lemieux. I think it's kind of an early Lemieux card. Um, a late 80s Fleer Ripken insert card. All-star team. They're like in pretty good shape too. A weird Edgar Martinez Grand Slam. Denny's card. Vito Santiago. Cecil Fielder. These were also Grand Slam cards from 91. Awesome Farms. Let's go through it now. I'm going to build a suspense up. And there's a Bledsoe. So there's some football cards in there as well. Football, hockey, and baseball. Um, big Harold Baines, 85. This looks like a bunch of pinnacle cards. 93, too. There could be a Jeter in there. But, like, there's a bunch of good stuff in here. I just want to keep going through it now. There's a Pete Rose 85 Fleer. Eddie Murray 80 Tops. The $15 tag on. What was that ever worth 15 bucks? And, like, a lot of these are just caked in dust. Bonds. Clemens Atlantic card. It's a Piazza. Denny's. Yeah, it's a lot of weird stuff in here. I see a Sosa rookie card. I'm going to stop myself... And I'm, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow for that. Ah, promise I won't go through it. I want to make like a two hour long video, so I'm not going to do it right now. But yeah, if you guys want me to do it live, we will do it tomorrow night. But anyways, we'll do the auction now for any of you guys that may want it. Some of you may not want it, but uh, it should be pretty fun. So $1, one minute auctions. Thank you guys all for being here. Bowman 93 will be ripped in the future at some point. <laughs> Greg H says, you know you're digging through that off air. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I've wanted to, like I thought about it earlier. Once I pull like, a couple out of there, I'm like, wow. 
Joseph says 1980 tops Eddie Murray was probably 15 bucks, and the junk wax junk wax heights of 88, 92 older cards got expensive. Yeah, pretty wild. I'm I'm curious to see what else is in there. Like I said, the McGuire rookie card and then uh, the older stuff. So maybe there's like 85 tops McGuire in there, or even some other stuff. Who knows? I don't think the guy really knew or cared what he had overall. So um, he just wanted to get rid of it. Which anytime you find something like that, it's usually a pretty good thing from my experience. But anyways, we will do the auctions now. Please don't be a deadbeat bitter because I've dealt with them before. I, I, I end up having to block them. I don't like blocking people. But uh, it's just kind of a waste of time for me and for everybody else, especially since uh, especially people like want to actually buy the card, then they get shut out. This is kind of annoying. But the Lightning Auctions are back, and we're starting it off with... <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this one. <laughs> Anybody that's interested. So, OJ Simpson card can be yours. And we started these all for a buck, but like I said, everything is friends and family. Please PayPal me friends and family. Um, I had several people that paid me goods and services and I ended up getting a fee for it and that kind of sucks if you're only paying a few bucks um, so please don't do that but OJ Simpson and we'll throw in Jerome Bettis rookie card just because I don't really have too much of a use for the Bettis rookie card I don't collect football cards still cool but uh, I don't know you guys probably enjoy it more than I do <laughs> I thought that was a hilarious card <laughs> I had to put it up but <laughs> Kato Kalen cards none of those I wish. Caleb Kill always freaked me out. Hey, Hype. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. But uh, we'll start out at a buck. And we already started the timer. Let me, uh, let me fix this. Let me get something else to set this up with. We'll use the 93 Bowman box as a timer. I'm using a 1988 box of Kraft macaroni and cheese to stand that up so you guys can see it. So the increments, yeah, just quarter increments. Please don't bid like $1, one petty. It has to be 25 cents increments. But I want to eat that mac and cheese because I'm convinced if I eat that mac and cheese that I'll go back in time to 1988. So please don't try to talk me out of eating that mac and cheese because I will definitely do it. <laughs> So the, the highest bidder so far is what truth at $1.25 for Jerome Bettis rookie card and the O.J. Simpson Bloody Glove Relic patch. That's it. What truth? You got the Bettis rookie and the O.J. prison suit relic. I wish. That'd be awesome. So please, if you are part of the auction, please keep track of what you owe. And um, I write them down, but uh, keep track of what you owe overall. And then if you want to wait until the end of the auction to pay, that's fine with me. Just if you're a deadbeat bidder, then I have to block you. So 125 sold to what truth? Freaking pen's not working. Show Yankees, I'll give a $20 super chat if Brittany eats the box of mac, mac and cheese. Yeah, I got, a, I got a 20 spot on that, too. If she eats it, I'll throw in 20. So we got $40 going for Brittany to eat that, back, that mac and cheese box <laughs> without cooking it. <laughs> Make it more interesting. I don't think she's having that. All right, uh, next one. This one, I've, I have several of my collections, so. It's a rookie card. It's from 1999. Fleer Tradition Update. It's Alfonso Soriano. Any you uh, Yanks fans out there? Starting a buck. I, don't know, I feel like there's a lot of people out there that collect rookie cards as well, like I do. So maybe that's one you need for your PC. But start off in a minute for the Soriano rookie card. And if you like that one, um, 
if you get the Soriano, I'll throw in a Pat Burrell 90, <coughs> 99 Bowman rookie card as well. So I have a bunch of this card as well, Pat Burrell. I have both. I have, I have a ton of several of those cards. I probably have 15 of each, honestly. So I'm trying to liquidate some of the stuff I already have. The Pat Burrell for the Phillies and Alfonso Soriano for the Yanks. Two bucks from Joe Yankee for the lot there. I'm going to try to throw in extra cards here and there. Ten seconds left. And please keep in mind the uh, the lag as well. <whistles> Sold to Joseph Yankee. Congrats. You got the Soriano and Pat Burrell for two bucks. Not a bad deal, I don't think. By any means. The Soriano book value is like five bucks by itself. Um, next one up we will do. Let's do this one. I love this set. And it's a Mike Piazza second year card as well. 93 SP. And it's in pretty good shape overall as well. Hey, see you, Mike. Thanks for stopping by. So we got, we have Junk Wax Era cards. We have vintage cards from the 60s. We'll get into here. Um, so Mike Piazza, second year at 93 SP is an amazing set. Very elusive set. And very hot right now, too, because of the Jeter rookie card, obviously, and $2,500 for a box of those. So I'll lower this down some as well so you guys can see a little bit better. But very cool card. Hall of Famer Mike Piazza. Did they ever actually make any Mike Piazza Marlins cards? I always wanted that since he only played for them for a week. I'd probably like to get one of those now. But we'll start off at a buck. I think it's book value on the cards, like five bucks for the Piazza. And we have a tie here. Jehovah Witness for a buck. He's in for a buck on the Piazza. Eric Z says, I can't wait for the vintage. Love buying older cards. I have a couple. Um, I don't have a ton of vintage, but I, I do have several. So one buck on the Piazza. Two Jehovah Witness ripped me off. 125 from What Truth? Please keep in mind the lag as well, too. So if you really want if you really want a card, please don't wait till the last few seconds to bid on it because you'll definitely get outbid and you'll be mad at yourself. The three bucks for Jehovah Witness with the top bid. Eric just picked up a 6880 Matthews today. That's pretty awesome. And Joe Witness, you got it for three bucks. Coming to you. It's a nice card. I like that one a lot. Love that set. Like that card. Joe Witness ripped me off. Congrats. Three bucks sold to you. And um, please, when you PayPal me, please include your address in there too so I don't have to uh, chase you down. Next one, a little vintage lot here. These are cut a little weird but um that's why they're a buck so yes some hall of famers joe tory willie stargell hank aaron these are 72 tops tom Seaver, Fergie jenkins and bill stoneman and if you get those i will throw in the keith hernandez second year card so 76 tops just as a bonus so these are both in good shape overall but um like i said they're off center but some nice players on there some nice hall of famers Got Hank Aaron, Stargell, Joe Torrey. This one is definitely off-center, you can tell. Backs, pretty clean on both. Seaver Jenkins, Stoneman, and like I said, you get Hernandez, 76 tops as a bonus just for buying in. And starting it off at a buck, and Novin SLD is at five. So the high bid is five bucks. Awesome Farmers is beautiful cards. They definitely are. They definitely are. FDC Family Cards with a $6 bid for the three of these. Can you guys see these good? I should lower this down some more. It's 
25 seconds. FTC is in the lead with six dollars for the 72 tops league leaders cards. And there's 12 seconds left. And Jonathan Hall, a seven dollar bid at eight seconds left. Jonathan Hall, eight bucks from Ben Blackmore. Ben Blackmore. Ben Blackmore takes it for eight bucks. So Ben Blackmore, you got him for eight bucks, man. You came through just before the timer ran out. I know Ben is local. He's like a, a half hour away. So congrats to you, Ben. Hey, thank you, Ghostface. <laughs> ben definitely uh, sniped those ones. Those are some nice ones, too, for your PC. Ben Blackmore, uh, winning bid at eight bucks. Thank you for that, and I will send those your way. Like I said, if you want to wait until the stream's over, feel free to do that. But if you stiff me, then you won't be able to bid anymore again after that. Okay, so next one, uh, let's see here. Why don't we do, these are two pretty nice cards too as well. These are 78 tops. Two Hall of Famers here, Steve Carlton and Burt Belilevin, both in pretty decent shape. The backs are very clean as well. So Carlton and Belilevin. I don't know why I'm out of standout. I'm pulling more than one card out. So both these boys and I also throw in this. Maybe you guys have seen these before. Never really knew about them until recently. This is a 1977 Topps sticker cloth card. That's Burt Blylevin. These are really weird. Um, it wasn't really a, it wasn't an entire complete set like 77 Topps. It was uh, only a portion of it. But uh, you can see like the cloth threads hanging off here. These are actually stickers. And different backing from 77 Tops. But uh, the Bly 11, pretty neat stuff, though, if you guys have never seen those. That's just a bonus. Bonus. So, Carlton, Bly 11, and the Bly 11 cloth card for a dollar. And we started out. The highest bid is at 425 FDC Family Cards. We've got three Hall of Fame cards here and a really interesting uh, cloth sticker card. And Jackson Anderson is a high bid at $7.30 for this one. And please, uh, I'm sure, I don't know if I can fit all these on the screen, but uh, I wanted to show you guys the shipping directions there so there is no confusion if you guys can still see everything. I've got too much crap on the screen. How's that? Is that a little better? Maybe. You can still kind of see the timer a little bit. So FDC Family Cards is in the lead at 750. 750. FDC, you got it. You got it. Congrats, man. 750 is the winning bid. And you got some nice 70s cards coming your way. Very nice. Not sure if you've ever seen this cloth sticker before, but they're pretty cool. Um, why don't we do a Nolan Ryan lot next? We have an 85 Fleer here. It's a nice one. Hope you guys can see this. I don't know how good the lighting is. But uh, 85 Fleer is pretty pristine. And his Astros attire there and his super long career stats on the back. But nice looking card there, and also a Nolan Ryan 80 tops. I'll throw both these together. The only issue and blemish with this one is is that the top left corner has a crease. You can see that. Only issue with the Nolan Ryan, but it's definitely noticeable. But that's why it's a buck. Brett Jesus, Nolan's 20th year card. The 85 Fleer is super nice, though. Definitely a nice one. 
gonna fix this stuff so you can see it. All right, a minute on the clock and FDC is like lean bin, I wanna say. Hey, Jeff Airtime, thank you for stopping by. Just now saw you. So two Nolan Ryans, one buck. Justin sees his throne, Robin, Robin Ventura's manhood for a bonus. She have some Ventura rookie cards right next to me. 89 Flutter update. But uh, FDC has the high bid at three bucks. FDC is in a lead of three dollars. But Shady Top's like a twenty dollar card. But yeah, obviously it's a corner dinged up. Eric Z is at three bucks. Michael Padgett with a four dollar bid. Four dollars for Michael Padgett. Ten seconds left. And five for what truth? What truth takes the lead at five bucks? <phone rings> ben Blackmore came in just a second too late. What truth? You got it for five bucks. For two Nolans. I know what truth is definitely Nolan Ryan fan, so five dollars still going off. Um Speaking of 93 cards, let's do this one next. This one's pretty beat up, so keep that in mind. Ryan H says, glad to see you're still doing auctions. Hopefully you don't get any trolls tonight. It seems so far so good. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, I appreciate that, man. Next one up we'll do is a hot card. And it's a Jeter 93 per deck. I have, I have several of this card in my collection. This one is banged up, though, so keep that in mind when you're bidding on it. The sides here. You see the side? You see the white? You see that? And then the top right corner, top left corner. So it's not in perfect condition, but, you know, it's still a Jeter rookie card, and that's why it's a buck. So just like, I don't know, that, those white spots show up pretty good on the 93 per deck, but still, it's a buck. Can't beat it for a Jeter rookie card. So we start off at one minute. Joseph C with a $3 bid. Take the lead on the Jeter. 93 per deck rookie card. And Josh K, 325 bid. From Josh K. Michael Page with a $4 bid on the Jeter. 29 seconds left. Austin says, how you know money stinks? I thought I sent you that card, Austin. I thought I, I thought I sent you that, sent that to you a few months back. The one I pulled out of that $2 box I bought. And $4.50 from Joe K is the, is the uh, top bid here. Ben Blackmore says, is that from a brick chumo pack? Uh, no, I've had this in my collection for a while. Six dollars from FTC Family Cards. Six fifty from Joe K. Joe K. Snuck in or Josh K. Sniped at the very last second with a six fifty bid, right as the buzzer rang. Josh K. You got it for six fifty, man. Congrats. Coming to you. Um, let us. Yeah, that was a good. Yeah, there's definitely lag on here, so if there's something you want, definitely throw a bit out there early. We'll do a vintage 1967 play ball card here. Harmony Killbrew. The card is in good condition. A little crease on the corner there. You guys can see that. Down across there. But seems to be going wrong with it. For my see with the Killbrew, four buck. I think I have another one on my PC already, so if you're a Killbrew fan or a Twins fan even, or just a fan of Vintage, that might be for you for a buck. And we'll throw in something else, too, on top of that. You know what? Let's throw in this Jim Palmer. This card's kind of beat up. We'll throw in this Jim Palmer 1974 Topps card. And this, it's not perfect. There's like a little blemish right there, but um, 
little crease right there. But he bought a Killebrew Jim Palmer for a buck. Two $2 bid from FTC Family Cards. And five bucks from Michael Padgett. Six from Joe Yankee. Seven from Jackson Anderson. The high bid is seven bucks from Jackson Anderson. Okay, good Austin Farmer. I'm glad you still have that one. Eight fifty from Michael Paget. Eight fifty is the high bid with three seconds left. Michael Paget, you got it, man. Michael Paget, you got the lot for eight fifty. Coming your way, man. Congrats on that. Two Hall of Famers there from well, one on from the sixties. Um, how about we do this next one? Let's spice things up a bit. How about how about a Paul Mulder rookie card, nineteen seventy eight tops? And this one is in pretty good condition too overall. Michael Patrick says, "I've always wanted to play ball card. That's awesome, man. I'm glad that you finally have the chance to own one now. Or you're finally gonna own one." Um, Michael Ellis says, how often do you do this? Uh, this is like the third time I've done this. If I do it, I do it on a Sunday night. Not all the time, but um, here and there. Whenever I have extra stuff I want to get rid of. Eric Z says, my alarm is... <laughs> my alarm is you might think by the cars. You need a good alarm. Yeah, I need to, I need to set a better one. I have actually have a real Ghostbusters alarm. Not the actual song that, you, that you're thinking of, but one from the cartoon that I should use, but... The next one up is the Mulder 78 Tops, and this one is pretty nice if you guys don't own this from your PC. And this might actually be the nice one I have in my PC that I have my rookie card collection. I don't even know. I didn't check them out side by side, but corners are pretty good. The centering is not terrible like you see from a lot of cards of this era. Hopefully you guys can see all right. I feel like it's like pretty dark in here for some reason. Ah. Let there be a tiny bit more light. But maybe I should move these a little closer too. Mulder 78 Tops rookie card with Alan Trammell. Let's not forget Alan Trammell is also a Hall of Famer. For a buck. I think that's a freaking awesome deal. It's especially for the condition of that card. So one buck for that. What truth takes the lead? One buck. Three bucks from Michael Padgett. Five from What Truth, six from Ben Blackmore, Jonathan H with a seven dollar bid on the Paul Mulder rookie card, and eight from Michael Paget. Ten Joseph C with a ten dollar bid to take the lead. Twenty five seconds left on the Mulder Trammell rookie card, and twelve from Michael Paget now. About fifteen seconds left. Getting down to the end here. 10 seconds, $12 from Michael Padgett is the top bid on the Trammel. And Molitor, I should say. And Michael Padgett, you got it, man. 12 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Um, considering addition, I think book value, that's like 50 bucks. Maybe f it's either 40 or 50. It used to be 100 back in the day. But Michael Padgett, congrats, man. That's a, that's a nice looking rookie card there. Definitely a good one to have in your PC, no doubt about it. <laughs> Michael's just got to go big with John and H in the room. Yeah, you guys definitely were battling out there for a minute. Um, how about he said it's a buck. Shipping is a buck for two cards, and two for three or four. Let's, but we'll make we'll keep shipping on this one a buck. I'll throw um. How about a '79 Topps Tom Seaver? In pretty good shape and pretty good centering overall, left to right, top to bottom off a little bit. But Hall of Famer Tom Seaver for the Reds, you Reds fans out there, we'll go nuts over this maybe. I like 79 tops a lot, but uh, corners are pretty sharp on this for the most part. Seaver and my brother's favorite player when we were younger, Andy Van Slyke, 84 tops rookie card. Good old Andy. And his Cardinals attire. 
So 84 tops, Van Slyke and Tom Seaver together in this vintage lot. I feel like you guys still can't see very good, but we'll put those up for a buck. And on top of that, I'll throw this one in there too. This card is beat up bad. It's been through the ringer, but it's still a sick card regardless because it's Carlton Fisk's second year card. So Fisk, a gold cup, 73 tops. Um, something got stuck to this card at some point. But throwing it in as a bonus card anyways, just because it's a second year Fisk, gold cup card. I like 73 tops a lot. But still, bonus card here for Van Slyke and Seaver. You could get it for a buck. You get all three of them for a buck if you get lucky. So start off at a minute. Van Slyke rookie card. Seaver, 79 tops, and Fisk with the weird blemishes, but uh, still pretty cool nonetheless. What truth with a dollar bid? Three bucks from Eric Z and five from What Truth. What Truth takes a lead here. Six from Eric Z with almost 30 seconds left. And there's eight bucks from Michael P. So Seaver, Van Slake, rookie, and Fisk, second year. And it looks like Michael P. has a lead at eight bucks. 15 seconds left. Lou Rocks is O Vintage. Yeah, I got a few more here. Nine bucks from What Truth. Take the lead with five seconds left. And What Truth gets it right at the last second. Michael P. I'm sorry about that, man. I. I saw the zero bid. That was a typo. But I have to give it to What Truth. He came in right at the last second. Congrats to you, What Truth. What Truth says he can have it. Okay, well, that's really nice of you. All right, Michael P. Sold to you for nine bucks. Michael P. That's very cool of you guys to do that. So, Michael P., that is all yours. Michael Lawson says, I don't consider this true vintage. Well, I don't know what you consider true vintage then, maybe for these cards, but uh, maybe you consider these true vintage. Steve Carlton, 68 tops. And Phil Necro, 68 tops. Together in one lot, one buck. The Necro is in... Really nice shape, I think, for a 68 Tops card. <laughs> Michael Lawson says, now that is. Yeah, it definitely is. I love 68 Tops. Um, so we have two Hall of Famers here, and the Necro is a pretty good-looking card. So Necro 68 and the Carlton. This one's seen better days. Rounded off, dog-eared corners, like we're used to seeing with a lot of cards in this era. At least I am a... Um, definitely has some stories to tell, but, uh, both those together, Michael Laws is my favorite is 60. Yeah. 60 is an awesome year. I picked up a 60 rookie card, uh, earlier for 10 cents. I think I, I showed that at the beginning of the video. I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but start off with a minute or one minute, $1 and FDC, I see is the highest bid at 650. Harry Collins says, will you please start auctioning off cards I need? What kind of cards do you need, man? Eight bucks from Stephen Conway. Eric Aziz is 71 tops of my all-time fave. Yeah, those are definitely some awesome years. I mean, I have cards from a lot of those years. I just need to dig them out. Eric Z, $9 bid on the dual 68 top slot. Phil Necro and Steve Carlton. Eric Z takes the lead, nine bucks. The Necro is in definitely in awesome shape. It really is. Carlton, not so much, but still an awesome card to have. Stephen Conway, a $10 bid with 13 seconds left. 
Paul also said, I missed the John Hudak auction. <laughs> That's coming up, man. Five seconds, Stephen Conway, you're in the lead. Two seconds left. And you got it. Stephen Conway, congrats, man. $10. You got the double 68. It's a nice one, especially that Phil Necro is awesome. I think card a lot. Sold it to Stephen Conway for 10 bucks. Um, I don't know what else I have. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff here, but I don't know what else you guys will want. A lot of junk wax stuff, of course, because that's what I collect the most of. But about a 72 Lou Brock stolen base leaders here for a buck. Throw that one out there. Uh, pretty nice shape, too, overall. But that one's a buck, and if you want that for a buck, I will throw in the notorious Billy Martin 1972 Tops middle finger card that we all know and love. <laughs> so if you want to own that card, maybe you can own it now for a buck. So both those, that's just the Billy Martin's among us. Stephen Conway takes the lead at two bucks. Two bucks, but love the middle finger card. Billy Martin was always such an angry, angry man. It's awesome. And three bucks from Bradley C. Four bucks from Peter Diamato. Six from Ben Blackmore. And Stephen Conway with a 650 bid here to take the lead overall. 650 is the top bid. Three seconds left. 750 to Josh K. Josh K, you got both those for 750. Congrats, man. The lag definitely um, definitely makes it tough. Josh K is the winner. And the next one up we'll do, let's do like a early 80s rookie card collection here. Let's see what we have sitting next to me here. sure if you guys need these ones or not, but uh, Julio Franco, 83 Don Ross rookie card, Danny Ainge, which we actually pulled that card um, out of the 81 Don Ross prank, Danny Ainge, 81 Fleer rookie card, so some of the NBA fans might recognize him, and we'll throw Dave Stewart in there as well, Dave Stewart rookie card, so all those for a buck. For some early 80s rookie card action there. And now we're getting down close to the end here, guys, for the evening. I didn't uh, pull a whole lot of stuff out, but if you guys want to, if anyone you want to own those for your, your PC, now is the time to do it. So one buck starting bid and own those four rookie cards. Dave Stewart is in the background there. Pretty, pretty legendary pitcher this time. Two bucks from Stephen Conway. Lou Rock says, you must have a lot of inventory. I definitely do. I just need a matter of sorting it all out. Autistic Family Club was a $4 bid there. 23 seconds left. And six from Ben Blackmore. Ben Blackmore is in the lead. 13 seconds. Ben Blackmore in the lead with six bucks. And Stephen Conway, 675, is the top bid. Three seconds left. 
Seven from what truth? What truth? You got it, man. What truth? You got it. Seven bucks. Sold it to you, man. Congrats. On the rookie lot there. Pretty awesome. And Danny Ainge only played... Uh, Danny Ainge only played in the... Um, only played baseball for about three years. Then went on to the Celtics and eventually came to the GM. Sorry about that, Josh. I'm trying to get everything on camera there. Passes the live toys at Gmail. Periods in between it. And, um... Next one, we'll do like a couple more. We'll make, how about another rookie card lot here? Josh Hamilton. So we got two Josh Hamiltons. His 99 tops created a 99 Bowman. And. We'll also throw in Gene Rollins for you Phillies fans out there. 98 Bowman rookie card. Michael Peace, 63 rows for a dollar. <laughs> so, two Josh Hamiltons. I think this is like an $8 card. I think it's three and that's five. If you go at Beckett Price, which a lot of people don't, but if you really think about it, Beckett sets a standard in the industry. They really do. Obviously, eBay sold listings are what things are valued at currently, but... Everything stems from a price, and it usually stems from Beckett. I know a lot of people hate that, but that's just the reality of the world that we live in, apparently. So one buck, one minute, three rookies, two Josh Hamiltons, 99 Tops created, 99 Bowman, and 98 Jimmy Rollins rookie card. So for you guys in this on your PC, you have a chance to own them now for only a buck. Two bucks from Stephen Conway and three from Autistic Family Collectibles. What truth of the four dollar bid here? And they're all they're all in nice shape too. There's no dings or anything really that I can see. Nothing like that. Five from Stephen Conway. Fifteen seconds left. Stephen Conway with the high bid. And 550 from what truth? What truth? You got it. The last second. Congrats, man. 550. Stephen Conway comes in with seven after the buzzer ends. The lag definitely affects everything. It's a nice rookie lot there coming to you, what truth? Um, how about a junk wax? Era rookie cards. Jim Tomei, Hall of Famer. 91 Bowman in a very nice shape overall. Centering off from top to bottom a little bit, but side to side is pretty good. Um, his rookie card from 91 Bowman. A nice one there. And a Chipper Jones, which we did auction that card off before and someone didn't pay for it. So um, Hall of Famer Chipper Jones. There is a little tiny dot right there, which I just now noticed. I thought it was a dirty four, but the Little tiny dot on the top of it, but overall it looks pretty good. I, I have a ton of this chipper. Stephen Conway says, man, I got at least a 25 second lag. Michael Paget says, in a Larry Walker, if you want a Larry Walker, asking you shall receive Larry Walker, Naughty Fleer will get thrown in there as well. And Mike Mussina. So we'll do a Hall of Fame lot. Larry Walker will probably get in at some point, I would imagine. I think he will get in. Uh, coming up here. I hope so, at least. Uh, Mussina, 91 score. Gets added to the roster there. And Larry Walker, 90 Fleer. So four Junk Wax Air rookie cards that you should own in your PC if you don't, if you collected cards back then. And you know what? To be fun, since I can be fun sometimes, <laughs> Chris Sabo, 89 for deck rookie card. Is getting thrown in this mix because I feel like that needs to be in there too. So we got 
three Hall of Famers, a future Hoffer, and the best of all time to ever do it, Chris Sabo, 89 per deck rookie card for one buck. And the audience goes nuts <laughs> over the Sabo rookie card. $7 from Stephen Conway. That's a definitely a nice rookie lot. I love all those cards, even the Sabo. Stephen Conway is in the lead, seven bucks. An eight from Michael Padgett. Ten dollars from Stephen Conway. Ten bucks from Autistic Family Collectibles. Tied at 30 seconds left. And 12 from Michael P. Fourteen from Stephen Conway. Nine seconds left. Fourteen dollar bid. Stephen Conway is in the lead, and it looks like he's going to get it. Sold to Stephen Conway. Congrats, man. Sold for fourteen bucks to you, and may only have one more left for you guys. Like I said I didn't do a whole good job preparing for this video. I never do, do I? <laughs> I feel like I never never pull out that much stuff. But I kind of just take what I have on top. Um, what about... How about a... These are newer. I don't, like, I don't really buy newer rookie cards too much. But... Why don't we do these ones? Eh, maybe not. Maybe we'll skip those. Yeah, we'll do them. Yonder Alonso, Topps Lineage. This is Yonder Alonso, Topps Black, I believe. So these are our rookie cards. Yonder Alonso, Topps Regular. Uh, this is not an update card, it's a regular base set card. And his uh, Topps Heritage. So I'll probably make this the last law of the night. I know it's not a big bang to go off with, but um, and we'll throw in a Tolo rookie card as well, 2007 tops. So four Yonder Alonso rookie cards, lineage, tops black, regular, and tops heritage, and we'll throw in the Troy Tolowitzki rookie card from 2007 um, for a buck. So we'll start it out now. And we'll make this the last all night, and we will get going. So I am pretty, uh, pretty tired and hungry as well. So six bucks from Michael Paget, ten bucks from What Truth, and let's go crazy here. We'll throw in the Smoltz, Steve Finley, Jim Abbott. We pulled out a pack earlier. So these three cards, and I'll throw in Matt Holiday. Rookie card as well. That's a good one. I think it's like a four dollar card. So I'll throw in those. All right, what the heck? I'll throw in Ian Kinsler. We'll throw an Ian Kinsler rookie card on that one. And I'll throw in this Ryan Braun. So all those get just got thrown in the last second. And we'll add an additional 30 seconds onto the timer. <laughs> just to make it fun. This is the last one. So all those Ryan Braun, which I know John H loves that card. Ian Kinsler, four Yonder Alonzos, um, a Troy Tolowitzki in there somewhere, Matt Holiday rookie card, Ryan Braun, uh, Smoltz, blah, blah. But wait, that's not all, <laughs> says Eric C. 21 bucks from Stephen Conway. Um, shipping on this one's going to be two bucks, actually three bucks, and uh, I'll hook you up. I'll try to hook if, if you get more than, uh, if you get like, several things, I'll definitely try to hook you up. But the winning bid looks like it was 25 bucks from What Truth. What Truth got it for 25 bucks. You got all those rookies. And I definitely, What Truth, you bought a lot of stuff tonight. I'll definitely hook you up. Um, no doubt about it. So congrats to What Truth. You got that big, huge rookie card lot that this guy went a little overboard on, but some nice rookies in there overall. Um, and I will throw in some extras for you as well. Anybody that buys more than a couple things, I'll throw in some extras for you. Because I appreciate it. 
So what truth, congrats, you got those all for 25 bucks. And that's all we have for tonight. Anybody that uh, didn't pay yet, please do so as soon as you get a chance. This is the info right back here. Joe Yankee says, find more stuff to auction. And Eric Z says, I'm sad there's nothing I really wanted. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. I feel like you usually get a good bit of stuff. But um, maybe next time, I guess. Hopefully. I, I know you buy a lot of vintage stuff, but uh, didn't have a whole lot of that this time. Next time, uh, I will for sure. But that's PayPal. Please send friends and family, not goods and services, uh, as soon as you get a chance. And Michael Padgett says, throw me the 89 Sabo, Bowen Sabo, Larkin, and O'Neal. I can definitely do that for you, man. Thank you, Josh, for paying. Thank you guys all. And um, please tune in tomorrow night. I guess we'll do it live. But we will be checking out this random box of cards that seems to be pretty freaking good sitting next to me. We'll check that out tomorrow night. I guess we'll do it live, uh, like you guys said. And um, I will see you guys all then. So thanks so much for being here. Have a great rest of your night. I appreciate all of you. I will see you soon.